And welcome back to Fantasy of Trees, live from the Knoxville Convention Center. They transform the convention floor each and every year. This is the 38th year for this large fundraiser for East Tennessee Children's Hospital. And from the setup to decorations to, of course, the Gingerbread Village, each one is made with love and a desire to help area children. And we talked with the owner of KJ Cookies about the award-winning gingerbread creations that she designs. From her shop in Powell, Karen Knapp is as busy as, well, as busy as an elf. Every year I do two gingerbread houses. Originally a graphic designer, Knapp also had a love for baking. I had been making cookies for my clients as gifts at Christmas and at special uh, holidays. Uh, I this would, this got asked to do something for the Women's Expo. And so when I did that, everybody got to see a lot of my work at a large scale. So that's when I started doing the process of working on getting licensed and working on building, building my clientele. She's been a professional baker for almost 15 years, six of which has included gingerbread houses at Fantasy of Trees. Every year I do two gingerbread houses. I, I do a fancy one and um, it's usually, uh, I have kind of a, a trademark piping that I do with the lace and filigree and stuff with my white icing. And it is um, one of the larger ones that I usually do. And then I do one that is along the line of the theme of the show. Karen has always had a love for the tradition of fantasy of trees and an appreciation for the work that Children's Hospital does. I can remember how they took care of my son and and even though he only had to be in there a couple of days, it, it to me the Children's Hospital had, had developed a, a really, really strong place in my heart around Thanksgiving. So the tradition just then as my children grew up and taking them each year when I started, I didn't I never dreamed 35 years ago I would be actually participating in the things that I love there. Each of her gingerbread creations are breathtaking works of art that look almost too good to eat. Probably just the the time that goes into one. I think it's it's very, very intricate, some of the designs that I do. So the time factor, a lot of it, especially running a full-time business, it's not just a hobby. For Karen, baking gingerbread houses for Fantasy of Trees is a tribute to her limitless creativity. But the real icing on the cake, the reaction they get from Fantasy of Trees visitors. The best, it's not really the, the building of it, it's actually the, how people react. To see the smiles on their faces, it, it's kind of fun to go kind of behind the scenes and just be walking around. And when, and when people are walking through the village, just to see them just light up and go, oh, wow. It is fun to watch, especially children, look at these creations. She mentioned intricate, tedious, time-consuming, but truly works of art and treasures here on the convention floor. Now, this is cool. Karen also donates reindeer cookies to be sold during Fantasy of Trees. And she has students who make the cookies and uh, work on this event to gain service hours. So certainly supporting giving back to the community. We love that. And here is Karen's gingerbread creation. It's a gingerbread village full of deliciously constructed homes and scenes made by bakers like Karen, chefs, and again, school children. I know